Good morning, thank you for joining me. I hope everybody's well today and having a good week. It's nearly the weekend. I am looking forward to it. I hope you guys are as well. Today I have for you a Yes Style haul, a haul from Yes Style. Yes Style, if you haven't heard of it, is a site that sells all sorts of things, but primarily Japanese and Korean beauty products, which I think if you've got any sort of level of interest in beauty, you are aware that a lot of um, our trends and new products in beauty come from Japan and Korea. They are very big in skincare into or into skincare and product innovation in the beauty world out there. And there used to be a company back in the day, many years ago, I don't know how many years ago, actually I'm probably talking 10 years, called Mimi Box. It was like a subscription beauty box type thing, but you could buy it on a one-off basis. And it stopped shipping to England, unfortunately, but I got all sorts of really interesting Japanese and Korean beauty products from that. I was really sad when it stopped shipping here. Anyway, several of the um, beauty bloggers that I follow, but particularly Jane from British Beauty Blogger, who I've followed for, again, years and years and years, is very interested in... Um, all things Japanese and Korean um, and Far Eastern generally for when it comes to the beauty industry and she very often writes about various products she's bought from Yes Style or she went on a trip to Japan a couple of years ago I think and um, bought all sorts of interesting stuff back and I've always make a note of these the products that she writes about that I'm interested in or that I've, you know that I see from other places that I travel around the internet this video isn't sponsored or paid um, but they did send me a voucher to buy the products so the products are gifted just to be clear about that right I need to just go and get my glasses so I can read what it says on the packaging although a lot of it is in Japanese so I won't be able to read that and I'll be back in a sec I have linked everything in the description box below as well if you want to click through. Um, delivery was really quite quick. I ordered oh something in the region of like 10 items or something I think and it shows you on each item page if they're in stock or how long it's going to be till they're in stock so it will say 7 to 10 days or something and I opted to have all mine sent when the last item that I'd ordered came into stock which was a about a couple of weeks to wait until it ships and it told me the expected shipping date it's but it shipped that one day before the expected shipping date I think shipping once it shipped was very quick so I was quite impressed that I didn't get a customs charge or anything either I should probably add that right let's start let's get into it and the first product that I wanted to buy that was on my wish list was the peach cotton Mel sorry this is the brand is skin food and it's called peach cotton multi finish powder and it's a very fine loose powder it's white like that that's the powder on my hand and it's really really finely milled this is a bit of a cult product people rave about this and I've been aware of it for a while and quite fancy trying it um, so it was a nice opportunity to do that you can buy it on eBay and things in this country but it's considerably more expensive than buying it direct and this cost £10.71 is a big tub as you can see now this I, I have used some of these as well so I wanted to give you some mini reviews as well um, just to make it but sort of more informational than just oh this is what I bought um this I use as an all over finishing powder type of thing it is that some of the reviews that I read said it gives a white cut because of the color it gives a white cast to your skin now I definitely have not noticed this at all I have it on today as you can see there's no white cast at all to my skin so that certainly hasn't been an issue that I've had I guess perhaps if you use a lot of it I mean I use it on a big fluffy brush just dip it in tap it off and go all over my skin and because it's so lovely and finely milled it um it's just the perfect amount of powder for me. I don't like to use a lot of powder these days because I find it can be quite cakey on older skin. Um, but this is it's just a dream. It goes on beautifully. It makes my makeup stay all day. It keeps me nice and matte looking. I haven't tried it in hot weather yet, obviously, but um, I reckon this would be a good hot weather powder. Um, it also, this is the best bit, it smells of peaches. It really does. It's lovely thought that was so nice it feels really silky on the skin as well so as well as using it as an all over the face powder it um, 
I've used it on the edge of a like a sponge powder puff and I go under my eyes so I always set under my eyes with powder I generally use pressed powder but I've been using an elf press powder for that recently and I've noticed that it can look a bit cakey as I get more wrinkles under my eyes I notice that it does go a bit cakey sometimes using a pressed powder but with this again it goes on I'm able to tap it in just gently if I feel like there's too much there it disappears it doesn't sit in my wrinkles and it holds my eye makeup all day because without powdering under my eyes I always get mascara rings underneath so doing that is an essential part of my routine so that works well for both of my powdering needs so really pleased with that it is indeed as good as people say it is on YouTube the next product this was just a little bit of fun this is a bubble lip mask and i've seen some of the youngsters using these it's meant to be exfoliating and it is just a little pot like that you get a little bit like that's what it looks like it's just a yellow cream it doesn't doesn't feel particularly exfoliating initially but you pop it onto your lips generous amount and you leave it and it sort of bubbles up i should probably do this perhaps i will um do any uh, uh, what am i trying to say show you what it's like in my weekly vlog this week perhaps i'll use it this evening that might be quite entertaining um but yeah it's not bad at all it bubbles all up it's quite fascinating i start looking at myself in the mirror with this stuff bubbling up it was like a science experiment and then you just sort of rub it away and it does exfoliate your lips it made them feel much softer and i quite often get very dry bits of skin in the corners on my bottom lip there and it just made them all disappear there we are it's bubbled up on my hand a little bit you can see the the bubbling there um but yeah i thought it was a really fun little product that was let me tell you bubble lip mask was seven pound 26 now this this is something that i've had on my wish list for the longest time this is a bottom lash mascara a mascara for your bottom eyelashes if you are messy with mascara like me this is something that is very very useful it is the thinnest tiniest little mascara one it's a plastic one it has got bristles i don't know how well you can see the bristles on that it's got tiny tiny bristles and it's just perfect but particularly if your eyelashes on the bottom are quite short and um, fine like mine for not getting great big clumps of mascara on your bottom lashes i have this one on today i don't know how well you're going to be able to see that um i will try and do a little zoom in or close up or something um but yeah very very pleased with this um i find it i've been wearing it almost every day on my bottom lashes and it just works it makes it so much easier to do a quick bottom lash mascara job and that one was eight pounds and three pence well worth eight pounds that was to me next let's talk about this blusher juicy pang blusher this is called help i put it up the right way wouldn't it comes in a box and rather unnervingly it looks like a nail varnish when you get it out of the box now this was recommended by a beauty youtuber i watch in america called mandy lee and i think british beauty blogger might have mentioned this as well but mandy lee is the one that absolutely loves it and she can't she talks about it so often she's got several shades and i chose this sort of mauvey pink shade this is lovely i've got it on today i don't know if you can see my blush shirt there um it's not as vibrant as it looks in the bottle it's six pound 49 they have it in a multitude of shades and it actually even comes out looking like nail varnish um that's what it looks like before you blend it out it's just such a lovely cream blusher i've said many times that i think cream blushes are a cream products generally are so much nicer on aging skin than um you know layering lots of powders and um that's what that looks like isn't that just a pretty shade um yeah cream cream blah, i 
can't speak cream blushes in particular i find so much more flattering than powder blushes as i age so i was very much looking forward to trying that i really like it i highly recommend that one i can't remember if i said it was six pound 49 um next i have got this which is from the brand etude house which is a well-known korean brand um i've bought various things from them before and this is the cherry moisture lip glow in the shade sweet and sour cherry i have this on today over my over like a nude lip crayon um just as a gloss and that's what it looks like this is just a bit of fun really this is five pound 34 and it's a and it smells like cherries I, I honestly i am such a sucker for anything that smells yummy and fruity and just has a nice smell the peach powder the cherry lip gloss i'm all over it i like it it makes me happy i love the little um graphics on the bottle as well comes with a doe foot applicator like that and that's what it looks like um, it, it shears out a little bit as you can see on the lips I don't look like look like I've got that color on my lips but I do like the fact that it does have a little bit of color in it's not just a clear gloss I think it just adds a little bit of something and it stays quite well as well for lip gloss I'm quite impressed with it um, did I say that one was £5.34? I think I did. Now I'm going to move on to the things that I haven't tried yet, so I can't tell you how good they are. But this was something that I saw on Jane's blog, British Beauty Blogger, that I've been wanting to try. I bookmarked it. So it was a great opportunity to try this. And this is from a brand called Vanilla Co. Um, and it is cleansing balms. It's a little travel set or trial set. It was £8.41 for this set and you've got four different cleansing balms, a little pot of each. You know I love a cleansing balm, don't you? And it's called the Clean It Zero Special Kit. That's what it's called. And we've got the original, the revitalizing, the purifying and the nourishing. All different colours there. A soft balm texture. It smells quite nice. Couldn't tell you what it smells of. Maybe floral and it's sort of almost an oil a balm to oil feeling almost that's really nice actually that feels lovely yeah i think that would be a very nice cleanser smells lovely as well so i've got four different ones of those to try and then presumably you could sorry did i tell you how much it was eight pound 41 for that which i think is a really good price uh, nice for travel if we ever get to travel again those little sizes and as I said, for just trying out and then presumably you could buy the full size one if you wanted the particular one that you've got on well with. Um, so I thought that would be nice to try. Just let me get a tissue to wipe the back of my hand. Another well-known brand, I don't know. I think this one is also Korean, Tony Mole. I'm pretty sure they're Korean, but I could be wrong. It's just a hand cream. This was £3.44, just a nice size to put in my handbag or have on my desk. But the thing I liked about this was that it was acacia, 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 I'm going to say. I don't know if that's right or not. But um, it's a scent that we don't have in this country, or I don't ever see anything in the scent acacia. I feel like it's an exotic bloom isn't it an acacia so smells very nice very floral yeah it smells like almost like jasmine feels quite nice and moisturizing yep nice hand cream that um let's have a look at this this is the i'd heard about this one as well i'd seen this talked about on youtube and recommended as a product to buy from um yes style this is the claire's is the brand k-l-a-i-r-s midnight blue calming cream and it's basically a night cream i think so I think I think I would use this as a night cream. Um, it is quite blue. Look how blue it is. Very blue, but it does go to, it does rub in, obviously. It doesn't make your face blue. That feels like a very, very nice cream. Um, I'm looking forward to trying that, actually. I, my night cream has almost run out, so I will be trying that very soon. I think 
it doesn't smell of anything because it's a sort of marketed as a soothing calming cream so it's meant to be very good anyway it's 22 pounds 75 that one i'll let you know how i get on with it as i use it then i bought a serum this wasn't one that i'd heard of before but when i was googling around a little bit to see what products people were recommending this one came up a few times this is the propolis i the, i don't know if that's the brand iunic iunic unique maybe um propolis vitamin synergy serum and it says it is powerful calming nourishing and brightening and has wrinkle care we all need a bit of wrinkle care don't we oh it's got one of those really difficult stickers i'm going to open it from the bottom so i don't break my nail oh that's a good size bottle i wasn't expecting it to be quite that big it is how big is it does it say I reckon that's it's 50 mils. I was expecting that to be considerably smaller. It's quite refreshing to get something that you expect to be bigger out of a box than smaller. Um, it's very serum in texture by the looks of the bottle, the, the liquid, um, sort of a goldy colour. And it's got a pipette. It's quite a watery serum, I would say. Um, that's I'm not sure it will layer well on top of the Midnight Blue Calming Cream, but let's give it a go. Yeah, nice, soft, watery serum texture. Um, again, I can't tell you much about that one because I haven't tried it, but as and when I do, I will let you know what it's like. I can tell you the price of it. It was £14.17. Um, two more little products to go. Um, this is something I've tried before and I really liked. I think I got them from eBay before. Again, this is from the brand Etude House. You can see it on the bottom there. Um, this is the collagen eye patches. Um, I really like these. Well, they're just the little patches that you put under your eyes and I enjoy using those just as a pick-me-up occasionally or if I'm feeling a bit puffy or just if I need I feel like my eye area needs freshening up you know which it does most of the time let's be honest let's be honest this was one pound 88 for those ones finally again from the brand etude house this caught my eye this is a blusher and it made me laugh when it arrived actually because it made me think of a little girl's um you know when you're little and you have makeup when you open it up it's got this great huge powder puff with a bow on it it's just, just so old-fashioned day eh? and little girly it made me laugh um don't think i'll be using that but bless this is a sort of cream to powder texture it's quite a strange texture this one it's a new one on me i love the color i'm not quite sure about the texture and i haven't used it yet that's the color i think the color is really pretty nice bright coral that would be lovely for spring summer um but i'm not sure about the texture i will let you know when i've tried that what it's like um, actually i've got a makeup video coming up next week so perhaps i'll try that in there anyway that is my Yes Style haul. Thank you to Yes Style for sending me the voucher. I'm very much going to enjoy playing with all of these bits and pieces. I'll let you know about the ones I haven't tried yet in due course. And um, links are all below if you want to go and see any more information about anything. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again on Sunday. Bye bye.